Being born in a conflict country has advantages and disadvantages. I was always surrounded by news. It helped me to be whoever I am. So whatever I turn, I see something to cover. I stand in the middle, I document everything happening around me, and I move it on AP wire to go all over the world. I believe that children are the real victim of any conflict. So I always like to point my camera towards children to show that life for children is the same whatever you are in the world. They all seek fun and joy and happiness. In that particular image, it was in uh, Al Amari refugee camp near Ramallah. These kids were playing and chasing each other and this poor kid was cornered into a wall, really terrified and that was the moment I captured. I don't know where this image is from. It's a, it looks like a little boy, might be a girl, I'm not sure. Very dirty face, wonderful, yeah. Uh, brown green eyes. Where's that? Laiba Hazrat. She's an Afghan refugee uh, living in a slum near Islamabad. I spent four years and a half in uh, Pakistan. I decided to portray these children because I've seen them growing in the front of my eyes. Instead of being remembered as Afghan refugees, I wanted them to be remembered by their names and age. Back in September, me and many colleagues of mine made our priority to document the refugee crisis in Europe. It wasn't about the picture, how the picture looks like, how the light, it was about documenting what these refugees are passing through. And there is no better way to tell a story than being part of it. It was overwhelming, sad. At the end of your trip, you build a very strong relationship with the people that you move with. Sometimes you get the questions, are you going to forget us? This is the sad part where you always have to say, I'll never forget you, but life is going to take us each one into different directions. Yeah.